baby. I see why they call him Coochie Cutters. I just made it to my mama house. Mm-hmm. It's all clean and shit up in here. Hey y'all, how's everyone doing? I'm doing all right. If you've never been here before, I'm Marsha Walker. And if you have, you already know what the is going on. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because <laughs> you already know it's going to be a vibe over here every time. But I was just checking in with y'all. It's the end of the day. It's almost about 6.30. I'm getting ready to go to the gym in about an hour. I might go, I might not. I don't know. But I'm just sitting here watching Fatal Seduction on Netflix. I'm on episode 3. I think it's like 8 episodes. But other than that, I haven't done nothing all day. Today is my anniversary and I end up getting a new Sony ZV-1 camera. Some roses and yeah, I was super excited to get my camera because my husband knows this is what I wanted. And you know he just supported me and taking my content serious so i was happy to receive this camera as a gift for our anniversary i ended up cleaning up the whole house my bedroom the living room the kitchen my baby room everything so i honestly don't want to go to the gym but i might should i don't know i don't know i don't know if i do go i'll probably take y'all with me if i don't go y'all will see me tomorrow Good morning. Um, I've been up for a little minute. I'm getting ready to put on some clothes so I can go to this grocery store because I need to change the way that I'm eating. I'm just feeling myself gaining too much weight. I'm just too heavy. I'm tired of my back being big. I've been tired of my back being big, but I haven't been acting like I've been tired of my back being big. So, so we got to make some changes, okay? Like, this cannot, this cannot be life. This cannot be happening. It's the biggest that I've ever been in my life. So, baby, if you see me losing weight real fast, no, I am not on drugs, okay? <laughs> They should have enough respect and, and, and trust in you that if you feel like something is not right for whatever reason, they should listen. I learned the I best from Carlos and Chico. I, I did, look, that episode of the 85 South Show where they clowned me for looking for a woman that listened, I got laughed off the show. They don't they listen. Daughters listen to their dad, though. Daughters listen to them. I, I know Parker listen to me all the time. Yeah, there's plenty of women. Yeah, I think so. Who not when it comes to love. You know when women stop listening to men? When men stop listening to women. They're going to reciprocate the energy. Y'all got to oh, match energy. See, then that's the problem. That. If they don't feel you like you're hearing a CNM, they're not going to hear a CU. I don't, maybe I, I didn't get mad that. to see all this because you finna give them more ammo to not listen. Mm -mm. We all need to be listening to each other. I, I, I agree. listen with your mouth. You're right. That's one thing. You take that thing out your mouth. But see, I would say, but my like, my daughter, we have a relationship where she believes and trusts what I say. So if I feel like something's froggy, something doesn't add up, something's not right, she's gonna listen to that. Absolutely positively. Sure. Down. You know, and that's how it should be. I think that we be having these conversations about relationships. Come on, relationships swallow first, bro. Swallow, 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 come on, swallow. swallow. Okay, all right. Pause. We be having these conversations about relationships, and they be so one-sided, but they shouldn't be one-sided. Everything should be equal. Women should listen to men. Men should listen to women. And if they do that, then we'll all be listening to each other. That's not how it works. That's what I'm trying to hear. That's not, not how, how it works. works. Especially when it comes to love. I don't think when, I, when, you, when you guys say accept, she, she, whatever, whatever, I guess listen to it. Like, if she can get your advice, then cool. Right. But... If she decides to say, well, I'm going to marry him anyway, in which a lot of women have done, done, what's the point of your approval? What is your approval going to do? 
I'm not gonna pay for the wedding. That's the other tradition. The other tradition is the husband of the bride supposed to pay for the wedding. Let's not make a tradition. Wait, hold on. The father's supposed to pay for the wedding. Yeah. See, that's a stupid tradition. That's a stupid tradition. I'm with you with that one. Do men feel like they should still ask girls' fathers to marry them? And some of the men on there were saying like, yeah, no, and all of this. Me, I say yes, it's because it's just like, out of respect, you can't just be going around marrying people's daughters I mean like he can respect you for the fact of you asking him to marry his daughter but you don't have to not marry his daughter because he don't want you to that's how I feel like because you know she probably have not always had the best relationship with her father so she might be like and eh. he probably said no but we still gonna get married you know but as a man you want to know in your heart that hey i asked him he said no but his daughter his daughter still want to marry me you know so i say yes but everybody don't think the same everybody don't have the same opinions on everything me yes you should still ask a man can you marry his daughter and yes a father should still pay for his daughter's wedding so I was talking to my mom and stuff and then I'm sitting up here trying to cook some real quick. I had shredded some chicken, like one chicken breast, literally seasoned it up real good. And now I'm boiling some peppers, some sweet peppers, so I can have me like a little snack or whatever because I'm just working on eating light, eating better. I feel so uncomfortable. I don't like it. So I'm trying to do something to change it. I just boil these, make them soft, and then I'm just gonna stuff chicken in the inside of them. And let me show y'all what these look like. Look. You see my little stuffed chicken peppers? We getting ready to watch the rest of Fatal Seduction on Netflix. It's pretty good for what it is. And um, it's super gloomy outside, so we just about to relax for the rest of the time being. You can't. I need, I need to go to get Little Caillou back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Little Caillou back. Little Caillou back. Little Caillou back. Little Caillou back. Hey, so we are getting ready to go to the movies to see Mission Impossible. Girl, I look cute with my little basic makeup on. Thinking I'm doing something or whatever. I was going to put in some. I don't know why this, anywho, I ain't even got time for all that, baby. I'm going to the moose to chill. We are 
are getting ready to go to the beauty supply store because as you can see your girl needs some freaking lashes i look crazy but my makeup turned out really really cute and yeah we're getting ready to go okay sister so we got the blinkers on okay and i'm gonna go to wendy's and get my baby some seasoned potatoes because them is his favorite so that's what we're about to go do get this out of my lap and i'm just gonna like eat off his food a little bit so. Baby, I see why they call them coochie cutters. Yeah, so we just gonna go get his seasoned potatoes and then probably go to my mama house. It just seems like every time I go to the oh yes, we need to hurry up and get over there. It seems like every time I go and get my nails done, they be too chunky and I don't really like that so. I'd rather just go to the beauty supply store and get some press-ons, like French tips, solid colors, designs, and whatever. Shape them down or whatever I need to do. But. Thanks for choosing with me. How may I help you? Hello? 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 I think I got two dollars. EJ, you need to get you some money, baby. And he had nothing. You need to get you some money, baby. I just made it to my mama's house. Mm-hmm. It's all clean and shit up in here. Mm -hmm. I look cute. But anyways, I just made it to my mama's house. We're trying to cheer for a little oh bit. I should have brought my computer so I can edit. <laughs> like that shit today, <laughs> shit. Get that shit to your house. <laughs> That's why old people don't fuck with y'all, young motherfuckers, because y'all always think somebody playing with y'all. <laughs> shit, go play with your damn self, shit. <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> mm -hmm. Child, I'm finna teach this boy how to drive, child. Ease your foot off the brake. Uh-uh. Ease your foot off the brake a little bit. Okay, put your foot on the gas a little bit. Don't do it hard. I'm not. Slow down. I swear he trying to be a damn driver. Don't even know what he do. Put the blinker on all the way. Did you look left and right? It is freaking hot outside. It's 88 degrees. My baby is knocked out. But I'm waiting on my sister to come downstairs so we can go to the grocery store once again. Baby, she get $1,800 in Link EBT food stamps, baby. So. This is them pulling up right now. <laughs> what up, bro? Hello? <laughs> yeah, we off for the go. Good morning, everybody, and happy Sunday. I hope everyone had an amazing 
week an amazing weekend but today is the day that we get to reset and prepare for the new upcoming week um i just wanted to get on the camera and say good morning see how everyone was doing i just got out of the shower brush my teeth i need to wash my face and figure out what i'm doing for the day and when i do that's when y'all will see me again Let me plant that seed inside you. Yeah. Passing tips, tips, I'm still 
Queen, that's the whip. Whipping, I was real.